Hey guys, uh, welcome to one more very very important, interesting and most awaited tech talk show with Sara Raju Bansode from Pune. She is from D Y Patil Engineering College from IT department, and uh, presently she is holding three offers through campus placements. And I won't speak more than this. Uh, let uh, Sara speak about her journey. that right from like uh, blank she is completely blank that she has not clear that what to do what not to do how to go and now she is holding three offers in her hand so uh, sara over to you and how are you first i'm great sir and i hope you are doing great too yeah yeah thank you so much for asking yes so show, like share your journey uh, sara uh- so i'll just introduce myself uh, very quick okay uh, hello everyone my name is sara raju bansode i'm a final year student of dy patel college of engineering pursuing my bachelor's of engineering in specialization information technology so um, it wasn't long back ago like uh, in third year randomly a message popped on our uh, whatsapp that there is a, a webinar that is going to be held and uh, it is about uh, how we can grow and have like five secrets to a great coding career so i just randomly uh, entered into the webinar and when i saw arti sir talking every point that he was saying i could relate to him like i was actually very confused i it, uh, being in uh, it field it wasn't my first preference i have got uh, uh, the it branch from college and i c- uh, continued it so uh, i was very confused with it concepts and like what i should do even like uh, i think lot of can relate to me because when you are in college lots of time you are very confused ki what field ch- to be chosen what things to be done and like right from the first day of my college my focus was placement so eventually my uh, uh, search was going on in on google youtube that what i should do but the more i went more confused i became because every person was telling one or the other thing and the research went on but the implementation never started it was more like that and the whole process became very 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 t- tedious it became so tedious to a point that i got frustrated and i was looking for other options which are non it like i started browsing like what are the other options where i can be and not have it in my life so uh, this was my very confused state and then i uh, had this webinar with arti sir once that webinar was done he said that there is also one one to one counseling session so i said you know what let's let's do it out of randomly i just went into the webinar i had no intention of going and i think that was the best random thing i ever done because when i went uh, this sir and me we had a personal one to one talk there i explained him all my concerns and bit by bit he started breaking each one he t- told me what is wrong he st- uh, told me that first i need to take make my be- base strong and then he will help me to work my way all to the end so i was like fine because i had tried so many things and i had failed in those so i thought you know what let's give it a try and i gave and once i started uh, with arti sir the course uh, i started with c programming language and when i started the course i saw all those videos they were like very very in depth concept second thing very structured Sir, so here uh, i would like to ask you something yes because every student uh, when they compare themselves with others so they see on their linkedin profile saying that uh, so and so with the specialization in cyber security or people says that he is expert in web development because every, there are there are so many shiny objects around us and uh, these heavy words like cyber security blockchain okay ai ml data science data analytics and when i say na to anyone like hey you begin with c programming language 
then people say that why is he it's done in my first year of engineering so what is your take on that actually yeah okay i'll actually the one major part of me being uh, confused was the same thing when you go online they all tell you do web development do data science do this but when you're college first thing when it comes to placement they do not want you to be very expert in all these technologies first they want you to be very strong with your basics that is what they ask even in interviews that is the only thing they focus on so uh, as i said ki actually uh, for my batch what happened is we were never taught c or c++ in our first year we directly started with python and as you know python is like very more like a, a shortcut kind of language this language and yes python itself is implemented in c language and many people doesn't know that point exactly yes sir. so uh, like uh, they started with python and python does not help you to uh, you know strengthen your basics or strengthen your foundation and like as we all know that i started with python but then when i heard ati sir then i uh, understood like what is the importance of c language like it helps you with the logic building it helps you with the foundation like as ati sir has always told that in c language uh, like every concept is totally broken out there is no uh, uh, like ready made thing that you are implementing and because you are you know using your logic in every single thing that helps you in the long run maybe you do not realize it now but later on you will definitely ha- like learn the impact of this so uh, yeah so that is the thing that i felt ki outside they always say that it, this, this you do this you do that first what is your class strength now like uh, um, in my department it's almost 170 students around in the 170 like in third year we used to stand and now we are where you are standing uh, yeah i was like to be frank like i used to see my friends and they used to be like talking all about, all about technical stuff you know talking about languages and competitive programming and i used to feel so lost like what is going on i used to just go out of the conversation but now i feel that i am a part of all that like the there was a point where i did not even believe that i'll get even one single okay. offer and like having three three offers it's actually all credit to arti sir because thank you so much he has really you have really helped me a lot so now you have to choose the best one among yes. three yes sir like okay. i get to choose that is the best part <laughs> okay. and what about uh, like uh, uh, is there any one uh, like earlier in your uh, college wish to feel that are isko job mil sakta hai will sara will get a software job is there something like uh, people used to think na generally when we look at someone yeah like uh, especially who were my close friends they knew that i had zero knowledge of technical stuff like nothing they like everyone i even i used to admit it to myself and even they knew that getting a technical job was not in my area it was like standing there and i used to be very far away from that technical but uh, yeah like when even i was shocked when i got the offer because it was a next level feeling i never expected to get one so when you are going to join like uh, now you are in fourth year na right? yes sir so uh, when my fourth year get completed to so maybe like uh, july or august of 2023 okay july or august 2023 you'll join yes sir so thank you so much sara for sharing all these insights and guys those who are watching this uh, like uh, session till this point it shows that you have a lot of interest and now i can tell you that if you also want to become uh, like part of our community then uh, i'm conducting like i conduct every week a free webinar that uh, the road map to software development engineering career and i'll share the link uh, in the description below this video so so you can just click that link and register for my upcoming webinar i have not shared this particular statement at the beginning because i don't want to just promote my free webinar and that's not the object of this uh, this tech talk show so that's why in the middle i'm just sharing this 
and uh, if anyone is listening to this conversation like the line by line word by word then definitely this particular word will go in their brain and they'll register uh, that's where actually the real magic happens and if someone just play this video like see it for like 1 2 seconds and they close it 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 means this is not for them actually that's why and i feel and that's why i didn't announce this in the beginning and guys the, i'll share some links of our private uh, communities so like telegram and facebook and uh, that's with invitation only you just put a request and uh, our team will check your profile and if you if you resonate with our community guidelines then definitely you will be admitted in so sarak uh, like what's what's your uh, suggestions to like young upcoming future software engineers well okay so uh, first suggestion that i will give is uh, if you are a college student or even uh, someone who is aspiring to get a software job the first thing you need to focus on is strengthening your basics that is using a c language because uh, like when it comes to python like languages you already have like the predefined uh, concepts those uh, methods that are already written in advance yes but those will help you to get the problem solved there but when it comes to long run you need your own logic there are situations where you won't get the solution on uh, over stack or you won't get the solution pre made on the github so these situation when your base is strong don't, that then only you can be able to solve even the basic basic questions later on big problems do other later ones but even the starting problems that will you will be able to solve with the help of c uh, c language so uh, first thing is get your basics strong second thing is choose any one programming language and go in depth with it it's not like a mostly one question comes ki uh, we should do c or c++ or java or python which one choose any one because language for each language there are companies like i have we have got over like um, up till now over 50 to 70 companies that have come in our campus and each company has its own requirement some company has java as their requirement some has c++ some has c sharp some has python also so when you are thorough with one language you just have to wait for the right opportunity and the moment it comes you pound upon it so uh, that is one thing i feel that any language so be it java c be it c++ everything has its implementation just you need to be very thorough with it and uh, uh, then i would say ki once your basic is clear like then you move to the higher stuff that is now uh, what is the domain that you like like is it the web development is it the android development is it uh, cyber security then uh, is it the data science based on that you research first and once you are you have researched then you make sure which one is the uh, thing that you like and start exploring start dabbing your hands in it and if you don't like then switch but make sure that you at least attempt that one field to be like 70% tuck okay because starting obviously it's going to feel very hard but you just push through that pain a little bit be persistent and definitely you will start to see the results and if at all you don't like it's never too late to you know change to the different field so yeah but uh, like one last point that if you are a college student they ask you first your programming language second your dsa and algorithms that is the one few points they focus morely most and then it comes your projects so yeah that those are the few points that i think help students so happy sara like you are speaking the language of coding actually i can see the transformation like one year uh, one year back and every word what you are speaking today na it's uh, like uh, it's like so professional and you really understood the concepts uh, so happy so happy to see such a 
transformation journey in your life. And uh, one more last thing, Sara, like mm -hmm. uh, what is the role of communication actually uh, in interviews? Can you share, can you put a light on that? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, so like for me, um, I always, always had one thing in my mind very clear that the first year of the college, I'm going to focus on my communication skills. So now how this communication skills help you is like, suppose you're in an interview. Okay. When they, you uh, like, uh, you're already under pressure. You are, uh, you're having that little bit of nervousness. So half of the concept, they are out of the window right there. But if you have a good communication skill, you at least start the conversation. Uh, once you start giving interview, you will relate to this point that, okay, so when the question is asked, you first start with the question. And if you're confident with your communication skills and very uh, have good hold on it, then once you start, automatically your brain will start fetching more information from your brain. And then somewhere in the back of the mind, you will get the answer. And once you get that answer, you will be able to communicate or tell the other person what exactly you have in your mind. So uh, one, if I may add one more uh, point, is that uh, like most of the people uh, think that communication means very fluent English. No. Communication is putting your idea in the brain in a very precise way you do not go all around this 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 you exactly hit the right keywords and right points in your conversation that is the conversation uh, that is the communication skill that is required thank that you is. so much Sarah, uh, putting a light on this because everyone thinks that communication means they should use like posh words posh english and that's what the communication is all about but uh, you have just really clear very well and uh, thank you so much uh, Sara for uh, sharing your uh, journey with our community members and wish you all the best for your uh, future and uh, keep coding and keep growing. This is the one statement I keep on saying to everyone. So bye guys, take care and wait for one more next interview with uh, one more student from our community. Bye-bye.